Hello, this is Billy Kaur from the Nostalgia Mall, and you know, I really don't do too many videos about my uh, more modern computers, and that's mainly because they're just not as interesting to me as something like that. <laughs> but this is my modern day machine right here. This is um, running on a um, Gigabyte B75 motherboard um, with an Ivy Bridge. Core i5-3470 is the CPU, a 480GB solid-state drive from Crucial, and a storage drive of 2TB, which is a Western Digital, and a 1TB drive to store my entire um, YouTube library on, which is also a Western Digital Green Drive, which is actually sitting in this uh, hot swap bay right here. And the um, hard drive portion of this computer is what we're going to be discussing today. Um, the two terabyte storage drive that's in here is the one I've owned since, um, I believe, the early part of 2014. So, I've had it about four years, never had an issue with it. <laughs> never once, and it still works great. However, I've only got about 600 gigabytes left on it because <laughs> I put just about everything and anything on there. So I had to um, finally bite the bullet and get a bigger hard drive. And this is the biggest hard drive I have ever owned that we will be installing today. And it's this right here. This is a um, HGST Desktop NAS, a high performance drive for desktop NAS systems, which is a network at attached storage system, which this computer is not, but it'll still work just fine. Um, it's better to have too much and not enough. And this is how big it is, four terabytes. I am doubling my storage space on this computer. So, um, yeah, this came in today. I ordered it off Newegg.com. It's a 7200 RPM hard drive. Of course, we won't be running an OS on here. We'll just be using this for data storage. So I'm uh, really happy to finally be upgrading the storage in this computer. It's badly needed it for a very long time. So, um, let's start unboxing it. All right, grab my scissors. Not very good scissors, by the way, but they'll work. And we just got this one little seal right here. All right, that should have done it. Hope this is an exciting enough video for you guys. But yeah, this is a four terabyte hard drive. Biggest hard drive I've ever had. The um, first hard drive I ever had, which was in the original Packard Bell Legend 822 CDT back in 1995, was only 1.2 gigabytes. And this is 4 terabytes. So yeah, quite a difference 22, 23 years makes. Alright. There's the drive right there. I know there's going to be a lot of comments saying, um, Billy, why did you buy this drive? Why didn't you buy that drive? This is going to blow up on you. This is going to catch your house on fire. But, you know what? I um, did research on it. And I have some friends that use this as well. So, this is um, going to be just fine. So, I guess we can go ahead and take it out of its wrapping and here it is our new hard drive HEST manufactured February of 2018 so this is two months old so yeah um, we are ready to install it, but not quite. Let me explain. For the time being, we're going to keep the 2TB um, drive where it is. 
And as for the um, brand spanking new um, four terabyte drive, we are temporarily going to um, put it in this hot swap bay, which is where my one terabyte drive is that my YouTube videos live on. So that way we'll be able to easily clone from the two terabyte to the four terabyte, and then we'll put the four terabyte, take it out of here, and put it where the two terabyte currently is. So, um, and I'll um, explain what I'm going to do about my YouTube drive um, a little bit later. So, I need to get the key to unlock this um, hot swap bay. Keep it in this cup right here. Okay. There's our uh, one terabyte drive. My entire YouTube library from the past 12 years, plus other random stuff, lives on this hard drive. So we need to take care of this. And let's go ahead and slide our brand spanking new drive in. We'll keep it unlocked for now since this is only temporary. So, um, yeah, um, before we boot into something to clone the drives with, um, let's just boot into straight old Windows 10 and see if the drive is even showing up. Actually, no, we don't even have to boot into Windows, I don't think. We can just go into the BIOS and see if it shows up. So, um, let me reset the tripod and we will do that. Okay, let's turn on the computer. I forget the um, key to get into the BIOS. Okay, um, let's delete. Hopefully this is doing enough. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this isn't the most um, incredible system in the world, but it's, but it works for me. Anyway, let's see if we can find where our hard drive information is. Okay, ATA port information. Okay, there it is. HGST, 4,000 gigabytes. Wow, that's hard to believe there. Okay, now, how are we going to go about cloning this drive, you may ask? Well, um, there are many different options, but I'm going to take the cheap and easy way. And no, it's not just a copy and paste through Windows Explorer. I'm going to um, see if we can boot into Linux and um, clone it via Gparted. So we'll go ahead and plug in my... Uh, uh, OS installation flash drive. Of course, we won't be um, installing um, any OS's. Oh, and of course, it's going to boot into Windows first. I think I might have secure boot on, so that might be causing a conflict there. Let's see, boot menu, boot menu, what, what key is that? F12. Ah, oh, come on, Windows. Cut me a break here. Okay, I'll just keep the key held down. How about that? Smashing it like a madman. Oh, 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 oh God. Ugh. Yeah, it's got to be secure boot. Getting in the way. But 
but I'm we actually might be able to get into the BIOS. No, we might actually be able to get into the boot menu through the BIOS itself. <laughs> now I can't even get into the BIOS. It's just Windows or nothing. Well, this is an exciting video. <laughs> Okay, maybe we should just completely shut it down since that worked, since that got us into the BIOS before. I need to get this clone going as quickly as possible. I have an appointment later, like less than an hour probably. Okay, there we go. Maybe you can't get to the BIOS, not the BIOS, maybe you can't get to the boot menu from the BIOS. Hey, let's just try it. Oh, Windows, come on! It'll do a hard shutdown. I'm sure I'm sure you're getting just as tired as I am of constantly seeing this Windows boot loop. Okay, let's just keep mashing that F12 key. Ah, finally, that's what we want to see. Okay, Kingston Data Traveler, that's my flash drive. This is my easy to boot drive where I keep a bunch of ISOs for um, different versions of Windows and Linux. Today we're going to be using Linux. I'm going to just use Ubuntu Mate. For all you um, Linux users out there getting excited to see this. <laughs> well, boots up pretty quickly, huh? Okay. Close out of that and we are not going to install this. I need to go to my least favorite place in Linux, the terminal. Okay, I believe it's sudo gparted. Okay, it's set to the SSD. We do not care about that. Okay, there's our new drive, 3.64 terabytes. Uh, And here's our old 2 terabyte drive. And what I want to do is simply copy and paste it to the new drive. No partition table found. Okay, I guess we'll have to create a partition table. Okay, what? Well, before we decide on what partition table we want, let's see what the old one is.
And of course it's not going to tell me because it's Linux. <laughs> In the land of Linux, you have to be a smarty pants. And I probably just angered a lot of people <laughs> saying that. Just, I want to do this right. No, we don't want to do that. It's got very, very sensitive data on here, and I want to do this the right way and not waste any time. Okay. I guess we'll do GPT. That's what all the cool kids are using these days anyway. to the two terabyte, copy again, go to the four, paste, then extend it all the way to the end. Let me just double check a few things off camera. <laughs> okay, um, we're just going to do everything um, as we just saw. We're going to copy the partition from the 2 terabyte to the 4 terabyte and extend it to fill the entire drive, and we're going to do it as GPT. Hopefully, that should be okay. Um, So let's, I guess, go ahead and um, apply all operations. There's no turning back now, folks. <laughs> and this is probably going to take hours and hours and hours. <laughs> So, um, I guess I'll go back in the house and do other things while it's doing this, and we will catch this on the other side. Okay, um, we're almost at 50%, and it's been, I think, a little over an hour, so I'd give it another hour, hour and a half, and we should be um, good to go, so we'll check back then. Okay, we are done. Looks like it took two hours, 49 minutes, and 28 seconds, so nearly three hours. Um, kind of about what I expected, but I'm surprised it didn't take any longer. So, um, what should we do next? Should we just... Um, I wonder if we should just go into, uh... To, uh... Huh. Okay, that sounds like the new drive clicking. That's... That new drive has a very, very loud click to it. So let's go ahead and shut her down and um, put the uh, new drive in its permanent location. 
Okay, first thing, let's take the um, new drive out of the uh, hot swap bay. Whew, boy, it's hot. <laughs> Um, eventually we'll be putting the 2 terabyte drive in here once I get the um, 1 terabyte data cloned to that, but we're going to be using a different computer to do that with, so we'll, we'll, we will um, proceed with that a little later on. First of all, let's get the, the important drive in. Okay, uh, a little bit closer. Yes, I know it's poor cable management, but this is an older case. There's really not much I can do about that. <laughs> All right, just take the drive bay out with one screw. in theory. You know what? It might be that USB front panel header I have in there that could be holding it in. It likes to get things stuck. I believe I'm right. That thing is a booger. It's, it's not a nostalgia mall video about something going wrong, huh? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think it's that header. You can't see it, but it's stuck in there nice and tight. Let me just maybe go ahead and take the actual front panel off. I want to at least far enough to at least I'll only be at least I'm only doing this once. <laughs> Don't try this at home. I think that just made it worse. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I think I finally got it. I, I needed to unscrew um, the front panel USB 3 header. <laughs> which is still hanging in there <laughs> but um, now we got access to the uh, drive cage this will unplug the SSD as well for now the uh, cables for the uh, USB 3 connectors are keeping us from doing a whole lot so do is just unplug it from the motherboard. Take that society. <laughs> and there we go. Bring it over here. And we can do whatever the heck we want with it. <laughs> drive is on the bottom. My cell phone is in the house. 
Hope I'm not missing any calls. Probably not. So I am. I really don't have much of a social life. <laughs> There's our old drive, my old storage drive, 2 terabyte Western Digital Green. When was it manufactured? Uh, December 24th of 2013. I think I purchased it in February of 2014. It's been a good drive, but now it's going to become my new um, YouTube storage drive. And now here's our new one will be going in its place. Line up with the holes. I wonder how many people are yelling at their um, computer, television, phone, or whatever viewing apparatus, yelling at me at how stupid I am for buying this drive, and how stupid I am for the way I'm mounting it, and how stupid I am for the way I'm cloning one drive to another. But that's YouTube for you. Got it in the caddy. There's my SSD, by the way. Uh, let's move back over to the case. And route the front USB header back through. And plug it in before I forget to. The uh, SSD had a black SATA cable and the hard drive had a blue SATA cable. That's my theory and I'm sticking to it. Okay, will this go or not? I got it backwards. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, it'll. Hopefully, we can uh... actually know. <laughs> it's always something, isn't it? Always something. You route the cables through the other direction. mindful of the uh, USB header. It's always tricky.
Hope you're enjoying this video, by the way. Um, figure it'd be a nice change of pace from the old computer stuff. And show some newer hardware for once. And there we go. Okay, header, header looks good enough. Now we can plug in our cables. Okay, set up power. There we are. And in a moment I'll show you how I plan to um, clone the YouTube drive to the two terabyte hard drive. So, I will continue in a moment. Right, let's put our side panels back on. It's always harder than I expect it to be for some reason. <laughs> but that USB 3.0 front panel um, header uses a goes into a 3.5 inch drive bay, an external one. But for whatever reason, it just doesn't quite fit into this case. So every now and then it'll come bite me in the butt. <laughs> but we managed to get it. By the way, don't ever take a hammer to a computer <laughs> like I did a while ago. All right, there we go. Ooh. There we go. All buttoned back together. And we'll have a drive back in this bay later on. But let's go ahead and hook it back up in its usual home. All right, let's give her a try. that new hard drive it it's a lot louder than the old one okay we're booting into Windows that's a good sign can't even put in my own password what's wrong with me <laughs> okay hard drive is well, not hard drive, my wallpaper, which was saved on my hard drive, is showing up. Let's, that's a good sign. Here's the shortcut I had to the hard drive. Will it, will it load, I wonder? Uh, fingers crossed here. Everything is accounted for. We are good to go. Oh, uh, that's a good feeling. That is a good feeling indeed. In fact... I believe this calls for a celebration. I'm on the jackpot! 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 <laughs> well, let's see how much. Wow. Um, 2.41 terabytes free of 3.63 terabytes. 
before I believe we had um, only like 600 some gigabytes free so that is that is a lot better I must say so myself and um, Linux changed my uh, date and time settings without my consent There we go. Now it's already 5 o'clock. That's later than I thought. I've had a long day, folks. Alright. Let me go check on my cell phone and see if I have any missed calls. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to clone the um, my old YouTube storage drive to that old 2 terabyte drive. Okay, we have um, a Dell Optiplex 755 right here that we're going to use as a workbench computer. And we got a pair of Western Digital Green Drives. On the right is my old main storage drive that we just cloned over to my 4 terabyte drive that I got today. On the left is my 1 terabyte drive where my entire 12 year YouTube video library plus other files live on. So we're going to take everything that's on this one terabyte drive, move it over to this two terabyte drive. And I know the dangers of using green drives. I do intend, especially for this, um, for my YouTube storage, to move to something a little bit more reliable at some point, but for now this has worked. This drive has served me well for for four years now and it's never given me any problems. So uh, we're going to um, just simply hook these um, hard drives up to this computer, the two of the SATA ports. And we're going to boot back into um, Linux like we did on my main system and clone with um, G ported once again. Let's plug in our uh, SATA power. Yes, I know I shouldn't have them flipping and flopping like this. Okay, that's the one terabyte in. Now the two terabyte. I uh, should be using the actual drive reels for this, but I only have one available at the moment. <laughs> there we go. It's not... It's not pretty, but it'll work. <laughs> now let's plug the computer itself up. <laughs> uh, it's like I'm missing some. I need to get the computer power. <laughs> That's kind of important. Yes, I know it's a mess over here. That's probably why I can't find the free power cord. That's not it. all the way over here and it's tangled up and yes this is my Dell Dimension 2350 monitor that we'll be using with the hole in it thanks to that power supply I threw away it by mistake a couple of months ago I will never let that down all right we'll switch the surge protector on now, these Dells like to power on for a couple of seconds when they first get power. 
All right, let's move to the screen. Oh yeah, we also need to plug our flash drive in so we can get into Linux. Because neither of those hard drives are, um, have a bootable OS on them. It's been a while since I've um, used this computer. It takes a while for it to come to life. And one thing that worries me about this computer is, is that it's very, very finicky with its RAM. Um, if you move the computer in a way it doesn't like to be moved, um, it will not post because of the RAM. A lot of times it'll um, give you error beeps. It's not doing it this time, but yeah, it looks like we're not getting any life out of it. Probably because of our RAM. So I get to do some troubleshooting. Oh boy, I'm tired of this. Okay, I fiddled with the RAM sticks a little bit, and I finally got it to um, come to life. But we have a SATA device, or a SATA port that's disabled, so we need to go into the BIOS and uh, turn that port on. Okay, I believe it's SATA 2 that... Turn on. Save and exit. Okay, both devices are showing up, so let's just boot to the USB device. And believe it or not, we got another clone to do after this, but I might do that not on video because this is going to get kind of boring and redundant after a while. <laughs> hmm, does easy to boot usually do this? Oh, there we go. Alright, let's head on back into Linux. Ubuntu Mate. I mean, Mate. Oh, the Linux freaks are going to murder me, aren't they? Um, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm doing this right. <laughs> and again, I apologize if there's any weird camera angles in this video. It's kind of hard to move around here. But we got the important part done already, and that's setting up the brand new drive. That is good to go. It sounds like I got a CD in the, in the CD-ROM drive. Yes, I do. It's uh, the CD for my printer. What it's doing there, I don't know. And why um, this screen has gone into seizure mode, I don't know either. <laughs> Maybe it'll sort itself out in a minute. There we go. So, sorry for the folks with epilepsy. <laughs> oh, 
don't mind me, I'm just opening a box I got in the mail. It's a laptop motherboard for a dead laptop. Okay, it's been doing this whatchamacallit for the last 15 minutes, and I think it's safe to say this isn't working. <laughs> so, um, what I've done is I've created another um, bootable USB drive using um, Yummy, this time containing Hiram's Boot CD and Gparted itself. And let's see if it behaves better with this than the other flash drive, the easy to boot flash drive. Or it could be the memory acting funny again. I've, um, it wouldn't surprise me knowing this computer. Okay, USB device. Fingers crossed. Okay. Uh, other OS and tools. Uh, let's go. Just try to go into G part of itself. Did it take it? Oh, yeah, it did. And yeah, I know I was using this computer as my main Windows XP machine a while back, but I had to put it away for other projects. But it'll be back soon. I don't know if it's supposed to be doing this or not. <laughs> Okay, fingers crossed here. I just hope I clone the right drive and not the wrong one. That would be... That would be tragic. But here we are. I do believe. Okay, here's our one terabyte drive. Oh no, this is our two terabyte drive. Whoa, whoa. Like I said, we need to be careful here. <laughs> okay, up here is the two terabyte, down here is the one, and down here is the flash drive, so... Okay, I mean, I gotta think about this for a second before I do something I may regret forever. <laughs> we need to copy the one to the two, so let's go to the one. Okay, so copy and go to the two, delete this, paste, resize.
All right, and that'll give us um, over a terabyte left for more videos for me to make to torture you guys with. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're ready to go. Uh, so, well, well, um, this is our last chance, folks. Point of no return. Here we go. Okay, apparently there were no errors. That's good. Okay, now the long part. The clone. Alright, well, I guess like before, we'll just leave the video right here and um, I'll be back later. And we are done, and that took another two hours and 42 minutes. Felt longer to, to me for some reason, but apparently we are done. Um, I still need to do one more um, clone. And that's from a 500 gig green drive to this one terabyte green drive. I don't know if I feel like doing that tonight or not. It's already um, 20 till 9. That depends on how I feel. So we can shut this down. And put the two terabyte drive back into the um, main system. Okay, since this is um, hot swappable and this is SATA, we shouldn't have any trouble doing this with the um, computer running. Let's go ahead and open the door here. Got our drive here, which contains my entire 12 year YouTube history, supposedly of the clone went like it should have, and we can just slide her on in. I have the speakers turned off so I won't be able to hear the device connect sound. Alright, I think it I think it found it. One moment I need to readjust the tripod. Okay, let's go to my computer. I don't care what Windows 8 and Windows 10 say it's this is my computer not this PC but there it is um, yes I know it's labeled junk <laughs> but there's all my um, YouTube um, files got them organized by year from 2006 to 2018 so we are good to go. We are done with, well, actually we're not. Um, we are done with the hard drive cloning for this video, but I've still got one more to do, but I may wait till tomorrow to do that because it's getting kind of late and I need to edit two videos tonight. So, yeah. <laughs> but um, I hope you enjoyed um, this different kind of videos, looking at some more uh, modern ho hardware. Um, we have new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, sometimes in between if there's a special event. If you want to support me on Patreon, um, there's a link for that in the description below. So until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.